Etruscan religion comprises a set of stories, beliefs, and religious practices of the Etruscan civilization, originating in the 7th century BC from the preceding Iron Age Villanovan culture, heavily influenced by the mythology of ancient Greece and Phoenicia, and sharing similarities with concurrent Roman mythology and religion. As the Etruscan civilization was assimilated into the Roman Republic in the 4th century BC, the Etruscan religion and mythology were partially incorporated into classical Roman culture, following the Roman tendency to absorb some of the local gods and customs of conquered lands. <laughs> Beliefs the Etruscan system of belief was an immanent polytheism, that is, all visible phenomena were considered to be manifestations of divine power, and that power was embodied in deities who acted continually on the world but could be dissuaded or persuaded by mortal men. Long after the assimilation of the Etruscans, Seneca the Younger said that the difference between the Romans and the Etruscans was that whereas we believe lightning to be released as a result of the collision of clouds, they believe that the clouds collide so as to release lightning, for as they attribute all to deity, they are led to believe not that things have a meaning insofar as they occur, but rather that they occur because they must have a meaning. Topic. Spirits and deities Topic. Around the moon or muni, or tombs, were the man or mani Latin manes, the souls of the ancestors. In iconography after the 5th century BC, the deceased are shown traveling to the underworld. In several instances of Etruscan art, such as in the François tomb in Vulci, a spirit of the dead is identified by the term hinthial, literally, one who is underneath. A god was called an ice, later ice which in the plural is isar. The abode of a god was a fanu or luth, a sacred place, such as a favi, a grave or temple. There, one would need to make a flare, plural flarechva, or offering. Three layers of deities are portrayed in Etruscan art. One appears to be lesser divinities of an indigenous origin, Katha and Usil, the sun, Tivr, the moon, Selvans, a civil god, Turin, the goddess of love, Laron, the god of war, Lynth, the goddess of death, Maris, Thalna, Torms and the god Fufflans, whose name is related in some unknown way to the city of Populonia and the populace Romanus. Ruling over them were higher deities that seemed to reflect the Indo-European system, Tin or Tinia, the sky, Uni his wife, Juno, and Sel, the earth goddess. As a third layer, the Greek gods were adopted by the Etruscan system during the Etruscan orientalizing period of 750–700–600 BC. Examples are Eretimi Artemis, Menarva Minerva, Latin equivalent of Athena, and Pacha Bacchus, Latin equivalent of Dionysus, and over time the primary trinity became Tinia, Uni and Menarva. <laughs> Seers and divinations Topic. The Etruscans believed their religion had been revealed to them by seers, the two main ones being Tagus, a childlike figure born from tilled land who was immediately gifted with prescience, and Vigoya, a female figure. The Etruscans believed in intimate contact with divinity. They did nothing without proper consultation with the gods and signs from them. These practices were taken over in total by the Romans. Topic. Etrusca Disciplina. Topic. The Etruscan scriptures were a corpus of texts termed the Etrusca Disciplina. This name appears in Valerius Maximus, and Marcus Tullius Cicero refers to a disciplina in his writings on the subject. Massimo Palatino summarizes the known but non -extant scriptures as the Libri Harspicini, containing the theory and rules of divination from animal entrails, the Libri Fulgurellas, describing divination from lightning strikes, and the Libri rituals. The last was composed of the Libri Fatales, detailing the religiously correct methods of founding cities and shrines, draining fields, formulating laws and ordinances, measuring space and dividing time, the Libri Acerentici, dealing with the hereafter, and the Libri Ostentaria, containing rules for interpreting prodigies. The revelations of the prophet Tagus were given in the Libri Tagedici, which included the Libri Harspicini and the Acerentici, and those of the prophetess Vigoya in the Libri Vigoici, which included the Libri Fulgurales and part of the Libri rituals. These works did not present prophecies or scriptures in the ordinary sense. The Etrusca Disciplina foretold nothing itself. The Etruscans appear to have had no systematic ethics or religion and no great visions. 
Instead they concentrated on the problem of the will of the gods, questioning why, if the gods created the universe and humanity and have a will and a plan for everyone and everything in it, they did not devise a system for communicating that will in a clear manner. The Etruscans accepted the inscrutability of their gods' wills. They did not attempt to rationalize or explain divine actions or formulate any doctrines of the gods' intentions. As answer to the problem of ascertaining the divine will, they developed an elaborate system of divination, that is, they believed the gods offer a perpetual stream of signs in the phenomena of daily life, which if read rightly can direct humanity's affairs. These revelations may not be otherwise understandable and may not be pleasant or easy, but are perilous to doubt. The Etrusca Disciplina therefore was mainly a set of rules for the conduct of all sorts of divination, Palatino calls it a religious and political constitution. It does not dictate what laws shall be made or how humans are to behave, but rather elaborates rules for asking the gods these questions and receiving answers. Cicero said for a hasty acceptance of an erroneous opinion is discreditable in any case, and especially so in an inquiry as to how much weight should be given to auspices, to sacred rites, and to religious observances, for we run the risk of committing a crime against the gods if we disregard them, or of becoming involved in old women's superstition if we approve them. He then quipped, regarding divination from the singing of frogs, who could suppose that frogs had this foresight? And yet they do have by nature some faculty of premonition, clear enough of itself, but too dark for human comprehension. Topic. Priests and officials Topic. Divinatory inquiries according to discipline were conducted by priests whom the Romans called heruspices or sacerdotes. Tarquini had a college of sixty of them. The Etruscans, as evidenced by the inscriptions, used several words, capon Sabine Cupencus, Maru Umbrian Marin, Eisniv, Hatrincu Priestess. They called the art of heruspice z chi ne theta srac. A special magistrate, the Sachase, looked after the Ketcha or wrath, sacred things. Every man, however, had his religious responsibilities, which were expressed in an alumnath or slakashes, a sacred society. No public event was conducted without the netsvis, the haru specs, or his female equivalent, the nethsra, who would read the bumps on the liver of a properly sacrificed sheep. We have a model of a liver made of bronze, whose religious significance is still a matter of heated debate, marked into sections which perhaps are meant to explain what a bump in that region would mean. Topic. Afterlife Topic. Etruscan beliefs concerning the hereafter appear to be an amalgam of influences. The Etruscans shared general early Mediterranean beliefs, such as the Egyptian belief that survival and prosperity in the hereafter depend on the treatment of the deceased's remains. Etruscan tombs imitated domestic structures and were characterized by spacious chambers, wall paintings and grave furniture. In the tomb, especially on the sarcophagus examples shown below, was a representation of the deceased in his or her prime, often with a spouse. Not everyone had a sarcophagus, sometimes the deceased was laid out on a stone bench. As the Etruscans practiced mixed inhumation and cremation rites the proportion depending on the period, cremated ashes and bones might be put into an urn in the shapes of a house or a representation of the deceased. In addition to the world still influenced by terrestrial affairs was a transmigrational world beyond the grave, patterned after the Greek Hades. It was ruled by Aeta, and the deceased was guided there by Charon, the equivalent of death, who was blue and wielded a hammer. The Etruscan Hades was populated by Greek mythological figures and a few such as Tuchulcha, of composite appearance. Topic. Roman conquest. Topic. After the Etruscan defeat in the Roman-Etruscan Wars, the remaining Etruscan culture began to be assimilated into the Roman. The Roman Senate adopted key elements of the Etruscan religion, which were perpetuated by heruspices and noble Roman families who claimed Etruscan descent, long after the general population had forgotten the language. However, in the last years of the Roman Republic the religion began to fall out of favor and was satirized by such notable public figures as Marcus Tullius Cicero. The Julio-Claudians, especially Claudius, who claimed a remote Etruscan descent, maintained a knowledge of the language and religion for a short time longer, but this practice soon ceased. 
A number of canonical works in the Etruscan language survived until the middle of the first millennium AD, but were destroyed by the ravages of time, decree of the Roman Senate, and by fire. Topic: <laughs> Sources. Topic. The mythology is evidenced by a number of sources in different media, for example, representations on large numbers of pottery, inscriptions and engraved scenes on the prenestine cisti ornate boxes, see under Etruscan language and on specula ornate hand mirrors. Currently some two dozen fascicles of the Corpus Speculorum Etruscorum have been published. Specifically Etruscan mythological and cult figures appear in the Lexicon Iconographicum Mythologia Classicae. Etruscan inscriptions have recently been given a more authoritative presentation by Helmut Ricks, Etruskish Texte. See also Interpretatio Graeca List of Etruscan mythological figures List of Etruscan names for Greek heroes Notes Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Bonfante, Giuliano. Bonfante, Larissa. 2002. The Etruscan Language: An Introduction. Manchester, University of Manchester Press. ISBN 0-7190-5540-7. Bonfoy, Eve. 1992. Roman and European Mythologies. University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0-226-06455-7. Translated by Wendy Doniger, Gerald Honigsblum. De Grummond, Nancy Thompson 2006. Etruscan Mythology, Sacred History and Legend, An Introduction. University of Pennsylvania Museum of Archaeology. ISBN 1-931707-86-3. De Grummond, Nancy Thompson, Simon, Erica, eds. 2006. The Religion of the Etruscans. Austin, University of Texas Press. ISBN 0-292-70687-1. Dennis, George The Cities and Cemeteries of Etruria. London, John Murray. Available in the Gazetteer of Bill Thayer's website at 1 Palatino, M. Ridgeway, David, ed. The Etruscans. Translated by Kremina, J. Revised and Enlarged ed. Bloomington and London, Indiana University Press. ISBN 0-253-32080-1. Richardson, Emmeline Hill The Etruscans, Their Art and Civilization. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. ISBN 0-226-71234-6. Reichwert, Joseph The Idea of a Town, The Anthropology of Urban Form in Rome, Italy and the Ancient World. MIT Press. ISBN 0-262-68056-4. Swaddling, Judith, Bonfante, Larissa Etruscan Myths. University of Texas Press. ISBN 0-292-70606-5. Thulin, Carl Die Gotter des Martianus Capella und der Bronzelieber von Piacenza in German. Alfred Toppelman. Topic external links Topic Cicero, Marcus Tullius 1923, 44 BC. W. A. Falconer, ed. Cicero on Divination. Loeb Classical Library. XX. Harvard University Press. William P. Thayer 2008. Cicero on Divination. Lacus Curtius. University of Chicago. Retrieved 25 June 2009. Cicero, Marcus Tullius 2009, 44 BC. De Divination. The Latin Library in Latin. Retrieved 25 June 2009.